This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today we're gonna talk about cockroaches. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. So I've had a lot of people ask me questions on my bed bug videos and things that I do. And they want a more comprehensive video on how to deal with German cockroaches specifically. I do have videos on it. I'm actually working on a course. Hopefully it'll be released by the end of the year. Um, I have the number one um, course online for bed bug elimination, but uh, and I'm going to add to it with a course on how to get rid of cockroaches. Um, cockroaches are unique insects and uh, compared to, you know, other types of bugs and stuff that you deal with in that they can actually develop resistance to pesticides. Bed bugs can develop resistance to pesticides as well. And so this is what makes cockroaches so incredibly hard to get rid of. It's the bane of every exterminator's existence. They find they go into a house and there's cockroaches crawling out everywhere and they're falling out of every crack and crevice and they get really severe and it doesn't take them very long to build those kinds of numbers up either. So how do you deal with them? How do you get rid of them? We're going to go over why uh, your methods aren't working, uh, why the pesticides you buy over the counter will not, even though they have roaches on the label, why they won't get rid of roaches and just hang out hang out with me for a little while it's going to be a bit of a long video i know i can be long-winded i know that a lot of my it's one of my biggest complaints that i get on my youtube is that man you talk too much and here it is i've already spent two minutes into the video just talking about what the video is going to be about so um this is how I teach. I teach with repetitive things. I say the same thing over and over because I want you to be successful. I want you to be able to get rid of your cockroach problem. And I want you to be, I want you to not stop. I want you to stop wasting your money. I want you to, whatever money you spend, I want it to be money well spent. And I want you to be able to get the control over this issue and back control of your life. Because honestly, when these things start coming in, when you feel like you're at the end of your rope, you've tried, you've done everything you can, you feel just defeated, I'm going to eliminate that with this video. And I'm going to teach you how to be effective at getting rid of cockroaches and even tell you how I got rid of cockroaches in a restaurant with just one treatment. So like I said, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel and uh, share this video around and help others like I'm helping you. So, cockroaches. You go in your kitchen or your bathroom late at night. You turn on the, maybe you need a glass of water, maybe you need to use a restroom, and you turn the light on and roaches are sitting on the countertop or they're sitting in the floor. And as soon as you turn the light on, they scatter and they run to any little closest crack they could possibly squeeze into. And now you've realized, oh no, I've got roaches what do I do? Most people will go to Walmart, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, some kind of a farm supply store and buy pesticides and start just spraying around. A lot of people will buy bug bombs. They'll go and buy little foggers and set them off in their house, leave and come back. Uh, oily residue all over the counters, all over the walls, all over the ceiling and everything. It gets on everything. It's nasty. And then uh, thinking that they've done what they needed to do, they're going to get rid of this problem. I mean, how hard could bugs be to kill? Uh, you're so much larger than they are anyway. I mean, you're a giant in, in a bug's world. You can easily kill them, right? A couple weeks go by. You go in to use the bathroom again late night. You flip the light on, and there's 20 times more roaches in there than it was the first time you saw them. What has happened? Why can't you kill these little teeny tiny bugs that you can just step on and squish and kill immediately? Why is it so hard to get rid of roaches? 
Roaches have a genetic ability to become resistant to pesticides. So let me explain how this works. Cockroaches throughout their lifetime will be exposed to different things that will kill them. You will be exposed to different things that can kill you. Uh, like, you know, cold viruses, flus, um, you know, bacteria, stuff like that, that you'll be exposed to. Your immune system is designed to build resistance to these different ailments, these different things like the flu or chicken pox or, you know, any kind of disease you may be, uh, may come in contact with. The way that roaches, that you could see it as a type of immune resistance response to pesticides, cockroaches actually can develop a resistance to chemical. Um, a lot of the pesticides that you buy over the counter are actually labeled for lots of bugs, not just roaches. They may be labeled for spiders or crickets or, you know, meal moths or, you know, whatever kind of insect you have getting into your home. And so if you read the labels of a lot of these pesticides and you read the active ingredient and you look at the uh, the labels of the concentrated form of these chemicals, a lot of times they'll say to mix twice, two to three, maybe even four times the strength of what you would buy over the counter in a store. So basically what you're doing is you're going in the store, you're buying a chemical to kill your cockroaches. I mean, it has a picture of a roach right on the label, right on the front of the label. And you're like, this is going to kill my cockroaches. You bring it home, you spray it. It's a quarter of the normal strength or half of the normal strength that you should be using to get rid of cockroaches. So you're using a weak pesticide. Cockroaches don't die because the chemical isn't strong enough. It's not mixed full strength or it will only kill maybe 50%, maybe 60% of your total infestation. So let's say you use a chemical that's full strength. You go and you buy, you look at the label and you find, okay, so this one's got bifenthrin in it. That's home defense. Home defense has bifenthrin in it. So you go to uh, online and you buy Talstar. Talstar is the concentrated version of bifenthrin. That's the active ingredient in Talstar. And you're like, well, if this label says that bifenthrin kills cockroaches, I'm going to go to the store, I'm going to buy some Talstar, or I'm going to order some stuff on Amazon, and I'm going to kill these roaches with something full strength. And you go and you mix full strength chemical. You mix full strength chemical. And you, you spray. The roaches still don't die because they've been exposed to a weaker version of bifenthrin. And their generation has become immune to the chemical because there has been a weaker form used on them over and over and over again by people just like you who went to Walmart, who went to Lowe's, who went to Home Depot, who bought home defense, came in, sprayed their house for cockroaches, and now bifenthrin, they're immune to it. They're completely resistant, completely immune. You can no longer kill them with that pesticide. It used to work, but because they give you a watered down form over the counter, the bed bugs develop resistance, bed bugs, I'm sorry, cockroaches and bed bugs both, they develop resistance to the chemical. And now you can't kill them at all. At least not with bifenthrin. So how do I get rid of roaches? Because I run into this, I go in people's houses, I deal with chemically resistant cockroaches every single day, but I get rid of roaches. How do I get rid of cockroaches? So what I do is I go into Walmart, I go into Kroger, you know, Bilo, wherever you live, Publix, you know, I try to list a whole bunch of different stores. Um, but you go in these different stores, Dollar General, places like that, and you go to their pesticide department and you read what they have in the pesticide department. Read their pesticide labels. Look at them and see what the active ingredient is in that label. This is what I do. Go online and search that same active ingredient 
but on like a do-it-yourself pest control website. And see what the concentrated form is. See what the name brand is. And whatever you do, don't buy that. Buy something different. What I've used in my business. So let me, let me I'm going to tell you a story. I know we're 10 minutes in now. But I want to tell you a story of a restaurant that I serviced for German cockroaches. When I went into the kitchen of this restaurant, it was crawling with roaches. They were living in the drains. They were living behind the sinks. They were living underneath the lighting fixtures. They were living everywhere. They were under the baseboards. They were in the crown molding. They were everywhere. It was absolutely horrible. There were babies, there were adults, there were egg casings laying all over the place. It was absolutely disgusting. And they were running the risk of being closed down by the health department because of the sanitary issues of these cockroaches all over the place. So I went in there and what I did, this is how I got rid of the roaches. One, the pesticides that I use, the, um, the chemical that I like to use right now for German cockroaches is called Alpine WSG. The reason I use this chemical is because you cannot buy it over the counter. Now, you can order it on Amazon. In fact, it's on my Amazon page. If you go to my Amazon page and you click the little category for cockroaches, it's there. You can find it. If you And for fleas, I use it for fleas. I use it for cockroaches. I use it for lots of different pests. It's a very good pesticide. So, I went in the restaurant. Now, there are places you cannot spray a pesticide. So, like, I can't spray a liquid pesticide into the wall around an outlet cover where, you know, there's electrical components. I can't treat inside a coffee pot. I can't treat inside a stove, you know, or a microwave or, you know, these places that roaches love to live. Roaches love to live in electrical equipment. Uh, the, the, the stuff that stays on all the time, like your coffee pot. Uh, Keurig. Keurigs are horrible for cockroaches, but they love to live in these electronic devices because they're attracted to electromagnetic pulses, which is what everything produces that's plugged into the wall. Um, If you go in your kitchen and you plug in like a little phone charger and you charge your phone in the kitchen or in the bathroom, roaches will live around the power adapter that plugs into the wall because it's one, it's electrical and two, it gives off heat. They like heat sources. So they love to get into really warm places. Because their eggs will hatch faster if they lay their eggs in a warm place. So these are just places roaches like to go. And in fact, roaches will just go in the wall. I had a a, a customer that I serviced one time with a single wide trailer where they had gutted the trailer, taken all the sheetrock down and everything. And what did I find all around every single stud in the wall, every two by four in the wall was loaded with roach poop and roaches. They live in the wall just like they live in your appliances. So the way, the reason I use Alpine WSG is because it is a non-repellent pesticide, meaning that the cockroaches don't know the chemicals there. They don't know anything's been sprayed. They're not going to try to avoid the places that you treat. A lot of the pesticides you buy over the counter, if they don't Uh, If they even kill cockroaches at all, a lot of times they're highly repellent and the roaches won't crawl through it anyway. And if they won't crawl through the residue, they won't die. So I like to use chemicals that are listed as a non-repellent chemical that the bugs don't know are there. They, They just, they don't know anything's been done. They spray through like they're normally supposed to. And I mean, spray, they crawl through like they're normally supposed to. And it's, uh, it's very, very, very effective. It works really, really, really well. So in these extreme cases of cockroach infestation, a lot of times I will actually mix in a IGR with the pesticide. So an IGR is an acronym. It means insect growth regulator. And what a lot of these chemicals will do, what they're designed to do, is break the life cycle of the cockroach. It causes it to either not be able to reach maturity, uh, maybe cause it issues to where it can't reproduce, you know, whatever reason, it, it stops the growth of the insect, you know, so it stops maturing or it stops being reproductive. So a lot of times when you get into one of these heavily infested, you know, buildings, whether it's a restaurant, whether it's even your own apartment, um, 
it's it's really important to use multiple products not just one because if you're dealing with a chemically resistant bug where the bug is already somewhat immune to the chemical or might be immune to the chemical that you're using on it you need to use multiple things so that hopefully you know if it's if it's immune to this thing then maybe it's not immune to that thing and the more ingredients you add to the mix the more likely that you'll get rid of your problem sooner and so that's another trick to the trade where you use multiple products on an initial and even the follow-up two three four trips uh, to the house you need to um, you need to use different products and the reason you do this this is called uh, product rotation or pesticide rotation is that you're trying to combat that whole chemical resistance or chemical immune uh, response to the pesticide. So I usually take with my Alpine WSG, I mix in a, uh, a Nygaard or I will use um, Gentrol, which are both really good IGRs for the control of cockroaches. Uh, the baits that I like to use uh, Vendetta Nitro, which also has an IGR in it. Um, Advion, Advion's a good bait, and it's different. So, so Vendetta uh, and 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 uh, Advion are two different active ingredients. So, one month if you go and you put down the uh, the Vendetta, and you realize that oh, the roaches really aren't eating this bait, and maybe I need to switch and use something different, or the roaches ate the bait but they're not dying then I would switch and use Advion so that it's got a different active ingredient and it will control the issue in a different way. And so hopefully you don't run into the resistance as quickly. This is what I did at this restaurant that I treated. So I went in and I don't normally bait on my initial treatment. Usually I wait until the second or third treatment, mainly because there's so many roaches that they are, there's such a high competition for food. I feel like it's easier to get rid of the problem if you treat in all the cracks and crevices, as many cracks that you could get the chemical into. And this is, the, this is a key to pest control, is treating inside the cracks and the crevices for the building where you're treating, whether it's in the bathroom, whether it's in the kitchen, whether it's in, you know wherever it is that you're treating. The bugs live in the cracks. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you go in and the, the roach scatters and runs to a crack. He goes in around maybe a quarter round on a baseboard or he runs up behind a picture frame and gets into the wall or he goes in around an outlet in the wall. You know, he's squeezing into a crack. They're trying to squeeze into a crack to hide, to get out of your sight, to get out of the light. And so you wanna treat the cracks, you wanna treat the crevices, the places that the roaches like to hide. Uh, open cabinet doors, treat underneath sinks and cupboards in and around the cracks where the sink actually rests on the countertop. Or if you have a undermounted sink, you want to treat around that lip where the sink actually attaches to the countertop. Uh, roaches like to live there. They also like to live around pipes. And this is a place I might use some bait, you know, around a, uh, a connector for PVC or a drain pipe or something like that because they will walk the pipes. A lot of times when they go from room to room, uh, they will travel through the wall and they will run along the pipes that lead in and out of bathrooms and kitchens. A lot of times with copper piping, you'll actually have condensation on the pipes that the roaches will actually drink the water on the pipes because the, the moisture is condensating. And so you could put a little roach bait around your joints on your copper pipes too. The roaches will find it because they're walking around the, the pipes and they'll get into it and they will die. Uh, there's another trick to killing cockroaches as well with roach bait and this is a very, very good professional tip for killing cockroaches is if you take a little index card and you fold it in half along the fold you, in fact, I might have an index card in the card. I could actually show you. Uh, if, I, if I find one, I'll actually show you in a little clip right here. But what you do is you fold your index card along the vertical and or the long side and like a taco. So you make it like a taco, all right? And then you put a little bit of bait in that little crack that you formed and then slide that underneath a microwave or a toaster oven or even a... Uh, you know, an oven, um, you know, somewhere where it's hidden out of way, where the cockroach is gonna wanna be because it's an electrical device, they like to hide there, and they'll find that bait and they'll eat that bait. Cause you can't always put it like in something or in a, uh, around a, a socket or an outlet or something like that. But you can put those little bait tacos around 
and they'll get into it. It's very effective because roaches like to squeeze into a spot and that's because it's folded over. That's a place they want to hide. Um, they like to get into corrugated cardboard. Uh, and, it, and, and, and this is, this is what I recommend people do. Um, it's really important. I know if you've got cockroaches, okay, that you want to eliminate harborage. Harborage places roaches want to live. This is, this is what harborage means. It's a house. It's a home. Okay. There's three things roaches need to survive. They need heat. They need water. Uh, well, actually, really, they just need food, water, and harborage. If you can eliminate any one of those three things, you will eliminate your cockroach infestation 100%. You can't because you're living in the house. You can't get rid of the food because you live in the house. You can't get in the wa- rid of the water because you, li- you live in the house. And you can't eliminate harborage because there's so many places that roaches can hide. But you can lessen harborage. You can lessen the food and water. Wash your dishes every day. Put them away. Don't leave them out. Don't leave anything wet. Don't leave any, any water source available for the roaches to get into. Don't leave any food source available. For the roaches to get into and you know roaches will still find food they'll still find water but it'll make it harder for them to survive also throw away those little plastic bags yes the ones that you get at target or walmart or your grocery store or dollar general or whatever that you pack your stuff in you know if you use those for you know like bathroom trash cans or something i understand but you need to throw those little bags away or keep them in a spot where the roaches aren't going to want to live so that the, uh, the roaches will build up in those little plastic bags. I cannot tell you how many times I have gone into someone's kitchen, opened up a cabinet drawer or door that was dedicated to those little plastic bags and found hundreds of the roaches and uh, just living in the plastic bags because you can't really spray them and it leaves so much harborage. You need to take those things. You need to throw them in the trash. Get rid of them. If there's roaches living in them, you absolutely need to throw them away and treat that cabinet that those roaches have been living in. Once you get rid of your cockroaches, get your little tissue box or something and put your uh, put your bags in that. That way, if roaches get back in them again, you just have to take tissue box throw it away. And it makes it a lot easier to control the issue. And you're going to go back to the store. There's no reason to, to keep that many you know little miniature reusable trash bags in your house. So those things are very helpful, those tips, pointers, uh, suggestions. Um, That's how I got rid of the roaches in this restaurant. When I went in the restaurant, I actually treated the cracks and crevices. I treated all around the sink basins underneath. I made sure, you know, I actually told them, I said, when I come and do this initial, I don't want any customers in the restaurant at all. I want to come when you're closing up and I can come in, I can do my job and then you can close up and the next morning you want to make sure someone comes in early to sweep up the dead roaches and boy were there dead roaches the next day but the next month when i went out to do their follow-up because normally with cockroaches i tell people it's going to take three to six months to eliminate an infestation the reason because eggs the roach eggs take about 28 days to hatch and so that's a month you know and so i'll come back next month i'll treat again when I came back, there weren't any roaches at all. They, the customer actually did everything I told them to do. They vacuumed, they cleaned, they mopped, they, they, they made sure that all the dishes were put up every single day. They, uh, they just really worked because pest control is a two-way street. If I come out and I'm treating your house and you don't do anything to, solve, to, to help solve the problem and you continue with your bad habits, the roaches are not going to be gone. Um, If I come in your house to treat for fleas and you haven't taken the precautionary steps you need to take care of your pet to make sure they don't have any fleas or anything on them, um, you know, it's not going to really take care of the problem. It's a temporary solution. The the fleas and stuff will die, but it's not going to completely solve the issue because the pet hasn't been taken care of. So the fleas got to get back in the house. Um, Same with roaches. If you're not going to properly pick things up and clean around your kitchen and, and, and keep things, you know, relatively hard for the roaches, make their life harder. Um, you see, the thing is when you pick up food and you take water, you wash your dishes and everything really, really well, it forces the roaches to eat the roach bait because they're hungry. They want to eat and they're more likely to go in and eat that bait that's been supplied for them by you in the little bait tacos. So 
hopefully this video, I, I don't think I've missed anything. I don't think I've forgotten anything. I think I've gone over everything I need to and probably more than I need to. But uh, if you have any questions or think there's anything that I might have missed, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below and I will respond. Um, so anyway, y'all have a real great day. I appreciate it. Don't forget, I live stream every Thursday night. If you have any questions you want to ask me live, if you want to actually call in and ask me, I'll be there. I answer the phone and I answer calls on my live streams. Um, as far as personal calls on my, on my business phone, I don't really answer those for long distance calls from out of the state. But if you if you catch hold of me on Thursday nights, I have no, no I, 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 that's what I do. I do Thursday night live streams for you, my audience, and so you can call in for free and ask questions as uh, as long as I can stay up because usually it's at nighttime. I have uh, four children and I try to get them in bed before I get on live Thursday night. So if, you, if you're if you interested in coming over and, and hanging out with me and asking questions, don't hesitate to do it. I'm interested in ask, answering your questions. So I'll see you then. Y'all have a real great one. I appreciate it. And uh, see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.